wait a second. What are these guys doing over here on a Wednesday afternoon? Pretty suspicious. Lady driven manual Murcielago. Who would have thunk? That's an Eddie spec right there. Oh. Where is he? I don't know. Where Eddie? Eddie Habalary, where are you? As per usual, all the Lambos are all lined up here. But look at this Aventador SV. That blue is nice with the yellow trim and accents. Starting to appreciate the SVs more and more with each passing day. Probably wondering, what are we doing here at Daikaku on a Wednesday afternoon? Supposedly, the Pagani Raduno will be here where those spots are coned off. At least that's what we suspect. Got the Lambos rolling out over there, the Pagani's rolling in, and we got the Wire R uncovered over here. Oh, a black zone. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, it's Horatio. Horatio! Zone to F. Wire rules. Another Wyra Roaster VC. This is a sight to behold. We got Jonathan's beat here. We got Mr. Sheep in the house over here and Ken's Boxster Spider. Top down and glorious, we got Mr. Alex Penfold's GT4 from God knows how many tens of thousands of miles away from home. We got all the Pagani Reduno rolling up. This is pretty good, guys. Here we go. We got the boss lady driving the manual Murcielago, loving all the Pagani's over here. Oh, press the wrong button, brother men's. So we're trying to figure out if this is like a real RS 3.8, but it's got the Carrera Cup badging on the back. 964, roll cage in the inside. I, I don't know. If the Porsche enthusiasts don't know, how the hell am I supposed to know? But we're gonna film it for you guys. I literally do this for you and a McLaren SOR has rolled up. I believe this is a first gen though, so don't be fooled, but it is manual, lady driven. Goodness gracious, what a serious, serious lineup here. On a Wednesday, it was afternoon, but now it's night, so. The lineup here is extremely strong here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna start off on this end over here, the Zonda F with a wing wire roadster from Texas. The elusive Zonda S over here that came from Shanghai to Korea and now to Japan has now made an appearance. I'm sorry, it's extremely dark. What a real treat. Hidden treasures, hidden supercars and hypercars in Asia. You gotta love it. Ah, we are reunited with this particular Zondini over here. This is the one that was at the Monterey Car Week several years ago when they brought it to the States. I can't remember what year it is, but alas, we are on a different continent, a different country, and has reappeared once again, driven by none other than himself, Mr. Horatio. The cars rolling out over here. Lambos with the lights on, a little bit of underglow. Oh, let's get out of this guy's way over here. Pretty sick. We need to head over to the uh, straightaway right over there, get all the cars rolling out. After yesterday's fail dash, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna walk. But I think we could get a couple of good accelerations here. There's a cat over there. There's a cat. Cat's gone. Come on, pace car. Don't let us down. Come on now. Oh, there you go. Oh. Lambo 
boss lady. Here we go. Oh. chilling under the tree a herd of sleepy deer at Nara. So the premise is that these deer will bow for treats. We have Americans bowing at the deer without treats. It's not the way it works. There's nothing in that plastic. That's Starbucks brother man. That is oh 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 respect respect he picked it up picked you feed them they get pretty aggressive. Oh hold on hold on oh Oh. Oh. Today is a bit of a more chill day. We made it to Kyoto. Kyoto is just right over yonder that way. But over here is the city of Atsu. We have Lake Biwa as well. And that massive skyscraper right over yonder is the Atsu Prince Hotel. And you're probably wondering, wow, you know your geography. I don't. I'm just reading off this uh, post over here. But... Enjoy the view. Very peaceful, serene, no crazy Huayra R's and Zondinis and Paganis running around. Just just a nice old uh, jaunt up the mountain roads here. Get the crisp air in there in your lungs. Real nice. Real nice. We're currently here in the heart of Kyoto doing some touristy bits. We're here at the Golden Pavilion or the Golden Temple right over here. One sec. There she is. Look at that. The structure was surprisingly burnt down by a rogue monk in 1950. The man was sent to prison for seven years, but left after two due to schizophrenia and mental illness, so to speak. So it was re rebuilt, and here we are. Take it in, boys. And we've got the Golden Phoenix on the top. They had to redo the gold finish in like 1987 or something because of the thickness, and it was kind of flaking out, but here we are. Oh, three Ferraris. Four Ferraris. Wait, five Ferraris. Wait, will there be a six one? This is six Ferrari. <laughs> Seven Ferraris. Oh, yeah. The 458 crew. So we're currently here in between Osaka and Kobe at one of the uh, stops over here. There's a lot of Ferraris that just pulled up here. A lot of 458s. Respect. Off they go. It's like a 458 club. You know, we haven't seen too many 458s running around here, but this is pretty sick. Pretty incredible stuff here. So. Every Sunday, everyone converges here at this. Nice. Converges at this viewpoint over here. And the views are pretty decent. It is a little cloudy, but you know what? We'll take it. As long as it's not raining like that track day at Magarigawa, we'll take it all day, baby. We have an amazing vista point over here, overlooking all of Kobe right here. Look at this pedestrian walkway. Very twisty, very turny for no reason, but it looks amazing. So on the far left, Roko Island, then we have Port Island, then we have the two airports at the Kobe Airport and then the Kansai Airport right over here. Uh, let's see, Harborland, it's somewhere over there and uh, there's a stadium right over yonder. Hold on, let me see if we get stadium, 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 stadium. And then we have a couple islands over there that you can't see. It's a little hazy. I guess that's a restaurant. Nice. Anyways, that's sick. We've got the whole crew here. GT4, 917 Spider, E63S, Alpine, and of course the RS6. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Oh, there you are. Great set of photos. Look at that. Come on. We've gained a car here on the road trip. We got Patrick's E63S over here. 
And now we're about to see a mini Gundam in the middle of the countryside. We stayed at this Fairfield by Marriott. Very nice, very nice. We were literally the only ones here, as you can tell. Found a mini Gundam here. There's a pigeon's nest. Boy, get out of the Gundam. Incredible, just in the middle of the countryside. Countryside things here in Japan. A dinosaur. A tree, a tractor, and a cat. Oh, there's like a minion inside of it. And just like that, a Diablo GTR comes out of the woodworks, out of this shed here in Japan. You actually can't make this stuff up. This is apparently number 17 of 30 over here in a beautiful yellow with a speed line wheels. Got some pretty sick stickers over here. Automobile Veloce. And look at this. The E2C Exotta Two Seaters Club since 93. Dang. Only in Japan do we have a Diablo GTR in the alleyways here. One of 30, baby. Unbelievable. We saw Terminal 8's Diablo GT, the road bearing car. This is the track car that's being driven on the streets here of Japan. I think the last time we saw a Diablo GTR was at the Lamborghini Day at Suzuka, I believe. One of the best Lamborghini events ever. But we do have the six liter naturally aspirated V12. Compared to a Diablo GT, this one has 15 more horsepower at 590 horsepower. Now the GTR over here, that's a beautiful thing. But I see something on the passenger seat over here that reminds me a little back of America. A good old Costco Kirkland wash cloth right over here. Kirkland brand, the best. And he's got his shoes right over there. Quick look at the interior here. It's a little sparse, but my goodness, the GTR badging. Oh yeah, the gated. And he's got the stickers over here indicating that he's been to a couple Lamborghini days around here. I love it. Yes. Something about seeing these cars just being stored away and hidden in these little garage sheds in the middle of nowhere in the countryside. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but this is the most Japanese thing ever. Super nice owner. Wow. Look at that. He knows exactly how to drive the car. He knows the dimensions. This guy is a bona fide, certified professional driver. Surprises just keep rolling in, ladies and gentlemen. We have the two-toned Lamborghini Mira SV here at the Ron Corporation, a legendary broker here in the city of Nagoya who's done hundreds, if not thousands, of deals. But here we are. This is one of his client's cars who has been kind enough to bring it out to us. We saw this car in 2019 for the Kyoto Concourse, and we saw him driving on the highway from Nagoya to Kyoto, which is a pretty damn long drive in a multi-million dollar car. So we were absolutely shocked and stunned, and he was displaying this car at the Kyoto Concourse. One of 150 Lamborghini Mira SVs. Look at that. These are worth between two, three, as high as four plus million US dollars. This is the most collectible Lamborghini known to mankind, at least for the time being. There she is. Just repositioning some of the cars here. We got the whole squad here, ladies and gentlemen. 718 Spire, E63S, Prius, and the GT4. Great color combination. Hold on. Incredible. A pristine example of the Mira SV. Look at that. Gorgeous sunset out here with the rice paddy fields. Cold, brisk air in Nagoya. Lamborghini Mira. Lights on. Wow. Unbeatable. Zoom in. Bam. That's the money shot. This man has owned this car since 2006. Off into the sunset. 